Hey, Nob here. This video will be the beginning of a brand new beginner walkthrough series that I'll be doing with a brand new account for the game King God Castle. I'll be going through the game from the ground up actually so you can follow along and learn what I do and the decisions that I make. Uh, so if you want more, be sure to subscribe and like the video. Uh, so let's start actually. So here we have a tutorial. I'm just going to go ahead and do the tutorial. Uh, back when I started, there wasn't actually like a huge robust tutorial like this I actually never went through this so let's go through it actually so evan he's good uh navigate the battlefield okay confirm um and if you're a brand new player and you're going through this for the first time uh here it is right so you can summon uh by pushing a summon button right here and then you click start and everything's automated uh if you play any kind of auto chess like game you know uh, how this works so auto attacks generate mana when units get max mana they do a specific uh, unique skill boom this is pretty nice this is the tutorial actually uh so you get silver which is the currency in the game when you do a round to summon your units uh here is your round counter so you can know that uh, which one is a battle and which one is kind of like a loot round. And summon more heroes. Okay. And here is our formation size. So if you, again, have any experience with uh, auto chess games, uh, you have to expand your troop size to put more units on the field. It's the same idea. Uh, and then we just simply drag. So drag and recruit heroes. While recruiting heroes, you can check your attack range and skill range. Uh, finish recruiting the heroes to start the battle. Okay, so yeah, so if you hover over Your character like this and hold it you can see uh, Their attack range and their skill range So the red is their attack auto range and then the blue is like how uh, How much area that their skill actually uh, cover Oh, this tutorial is actually pretty uh, in-depth surprise uh, expand for five silver. So now it's three out of four. Uh, drag on the screen to scout the enemies. So you can actually do this. You can actually click enemies. Uh, enemies with equipment are more powerful. We can claim their equipment after you defeat the enemies. Okay. So begin. Okay. Uh, we can claim an equipment. Drag the equipment and drop upon a hero to equip it. So you just simply drag and drop. So you want to put these on your carries typically. So I'm just going to put it on Evan. Uh, summon more heroes. And then you can merge, right? This is the merging factor. So you double click or you can drag. So now my Evan is uh, tier 2. Uh, we do not have enough room in our troop. Drag out a hero to dismiss them from the battle. So selling a unit. Start. Oh, I'm dying. I'm dying. Okay. Oof, we lost the battle. One of our banners has been lost. If we lose three banners, we'll have to retreat back to the castle. Yeah. So if we lose all of our flags, uh, we lose the invasion uh, round or instance, so to speak. So when we lose a battle, we get to face the enemies once again. Even when we are defeated, we will be given a small amount of silver so that we can reinforce our troops. Summon, summon. Okay, and you just simply merge again. Evan is stronger. Uh, the higher tier a unit is, the stronger their skills get, basically. So for Evan, this unit, uh, the higher tier he is, his little wave slash thing uh, is actually bigger. And obviously does more damage. Uh, elite enemy. Uh, elite enemies appear every five rounds. And then, uh, not only can we combine heroes, we can actually combine items too. Uh, so it can be upgraded. So merging, 
So now we have a tier two sword. And if we merge a tier two sword with another tier two sword, we get a tier three. And now it has a weapon affix, a uh, chain attack. And yeah, uh, the uh, weapon affix are actually completely random and unique to the weapon type. And here's our DPS chart. Use silver wisely and win the last battle with your strategy. Okay. So we're just going to summon. This tutorial is actually pretty good. Pretty good. I'm curious if it will cover other aspects. We'll see. We'll see. This is the first time of me going through uh, fresh. So this is, this is kind of new to me too. Um, Priya, the Frost Mage, hails thee, your highest highness. I'm here to guide you to enhance your heroes. Oh, she's my guide. This is the barracks. You can find recruited heroes and manage their at level and XP here. Choose six heroes for the battle. So we put six units to go into battle with. Uh, because I know the characters, I'm actually going to do this. Uh, great job. Heroes can be rearranged. Yep. Altars. Uh, this is very important. We're going to be leveling up our altars for sure first. Uh, the first upgrade is free. Uh, upgrade. I'm going to do altar heroes because that is the best. You can always retrieve embers. Uh, gate tab. Begin battle. Upgrade heroes and altars and lead us to victory. That's it? Okay, so that's the daily, this daily thing. Oh, wow, it actually doesn't tell you that much. Uh, lobby tutorial. Relic tutorial. Well, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. I'm surprised. They actually don't tell you that much. What is this? Excuse me. Beginner's quest? Oh, this is brand new. Oh, okay. So it gives you some incentives to do early stuff. And then you can get Joel Hero as a reward. That's interesting. Huh. Very interesting. I wonder how helpful this is. It just gives you a lot of food. A lot of food. Oh, well, no. It actually gives you so much. Oh, never mind. I take it back. Oh, okay. Okay. I did not know that existed. All right, so let's claim all of this stuff in our inbox. Uh, these are your quests that you can do while you play. So here are your dailies, uh, weeklies, and then of course your achievements. Uh, you'll be getting a lot of resources from these. All right, so let's go through what I usually do. So I'm my daily routine usually is uh, I actually get all these five supplies so i'm gonna wash all of these ads uh, i'm gonna cut it but yeah i'm gonna wash all these ads get all the supplies all right i got my five food all right i'm, I'm not i'm not gonna do the rest of the supplies i take it back watching ads take way too long i don't have the patience uh but yeah oh i'm also going to say that this is going to be a completely free to play account okay so i'm not going to be spending any money on the pass or anything like that so yeah uh, I might watch some ads to get stuff, but other than that, I'm not going to do it. Uh, so, okay. So usually I go over to the shop. Uh, I, I'm not going to buy that. And then we have the daily shop and I'm going to claim my scrolls every day. My free ones, my free ones. Okay. And you want to always open these in groups of four, but since it's free, I'm just going to, I'm just going to grab it. Okay, so I got my free uh, scrolls. And I'm going to go to currency. I'm going to go down here. Handful of gold, 400. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch this ad. It's free. All right, I got my 400 gold. So we got 400 gold. All right, so I actually have um, eight of these scrolls. And I'm going to actually just open them and see what we get. It would be awesome if we got like Zalbai or something. It would be amazing, but no. Okay. So XP, come on, come on, come on. Give me something. Give me someone good. Hero lock. No, nothing. Good. All right. Great. All right. So go daily. Uh, I'm going to buy the Aramis. Okay. So before I do that, I'm going to buy the book, but before I do this, let's go. Oh, let's claim this. Oh, what? Oh my. 
let me claim all of these. Okay, so before I do this, uh, let's go through the comp, okay? Let's go through the comp. So I'm actually going to do this. I usually don't use Priya at the beginning because I don't have Bard. Um, yeah, we don't have any of those. Uh, so I don't unlock Relic until level 7, my castle level. So yeah, the first thing that I'm going to be trying to do is to increase my castle level, which is pretty much your profile level. And the higher you get your castle level, you can unlock things like modes, like Arena... Uh, alliances uh, you can actually unlock your relics and uh, things like that so uh, most importantly the higher castle level that you get uh, you can get uh, higher altars right so it, your altar levels can go up to 25 because the max level of your account is 25 right to level up your altars uh, it requires gold so each time that we're going to be leveling up we're going to be upgrading our altars 100% because we this is your absolute you want all 25 points in your altars. Uh, for heroes, uh, we're going to be focusing on Aramis and uh, Leon. And sometimes Evan. Okay, so these are the main three. I'm going to put them like here. So these are the main three. Uh, the other four, they don't matter. Okay, and Alberon is a hero lock. If you don't know what hero lock is, uh, check out my hero lock video. I'll leave a link down in the description below. Uh, but our end goal is Aramis, Leon. Okay, and we're going to go for Armas Gang. And what is Armas Gang? So, we're going to go for Armas Gang. And our main goal is to hit Chapter 7, Corruption. And get uh, the Rapid, Rapid Relic. And once we get Rapid Relic, uh, we're also going to get the Arena Relic Spear. Uh, this thing, uh, Penetrating Spear. So, with Penetrating Spear and... Rapid Relic from Chapter 7 Corruption with Armis and Leon, okay? That will make a comp called Armis Gang, and you can pretty much use this comp for pretty much any of your farming needs, and you can branch out from there. So that's usually your first goal is to make your Armis Gang comp, and that's our main goal, okay? So that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, so I want to be putting all of my resources into Armas and Leon. So mainly Armas, okay? And Leon's gonna be uh, really important in the beginning too because he's your main tank. Uh, so we wanna level up Armas. So we're gonna level him up. We're gonna level him up all the way. Get and destroy these chapters. Let's see how far we can get. Uh, I might as well put levels into Leon too while we're at it. Uh, if you notice, uh, each hero, if you don't know, at level 4 and level 8, there are these potential abilities. They kind of get stronger, right? So at level 4 for Aramis, he gets plus 1 range. At level 8, he gets more attack speed. Okay, so we're going to go back to the daily shop. So now we know that we're going to go for Aramis and Leon, right? And sometimes Evan. So Evan's used later in the game, but you know what? You know what? I'm going to... Should I level him up? Should I level him up? Nah, I'm not getting level. I'm not getting level here. Man. Nah, 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 nah. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Uh, and then I'm going to refresh these. Uh, should I refresh? I'll hold off. I'll hold off. I'll hold off. So let's go ahead uh, and do... Man, I keep unlocking... Oh, my. Day three. Whatever. All right. So we're going to go for chapter one, right? All right. So our first goal, let's get to chapter seven. Let's do it. Okay. So like I said, uh, your main DPS is gonna be Armus, but actually at the beginning when you don't have anything, um, Evan's gonna be a lot of damage actually. So, but since, you know, since we leveled up uh, Armus, <laughs> he's our best damage. Okay. And when you're playing, you can actually go to your bench while you're playing and do all your stuff. So um, there's actually something that the tutorial doesn't tell you. Uh, so oh, so here's the forge. Uh, forging is like a round where it's RNG and it gives you like items and stuff. So here, 
Uh, I'm just going to grab, uh, I guess, this one. It's a free expand. And then what the tutorial didn't tell you is about these two signs over here. These two signs that you can click. Uh, so the left one, the arrow, it will auto sort your unit. So if you have units like this and you summon, you click this, it'll auto sort. And the tutorial doesn't teach you that. Uh, yeah. And then for the star button, this will actually auto merge for you up until tier four. So if I click it, it will actually auto merge uh, everything, uh, even the stuff on the field, if you have that option enabled. Uh, so let's just click it and then boom. Yep. See, so you don't actually have to click it and merge yourself. So uh, there's actually an option where it you can exclude the field if you want. So if you see this button up here, it's the retreat button. Click that and then auto combine include or exclude. Uh, I like it include. So I keep that there. And also there are some other interesting options up here. Um, so dismissal area is uh, selling. So if you want to sell a unit, you have to drag it all the way down to the corner, right? So I don't like that usually, so I keep it on big. And then all you have to do is drag it down here and sell. So you don't have to drag it all the way down. So yeah, this, the bigger dismissal area is definitely something that I prefer. Uh, then auto deploy is uh, when you have uh, not the max formation. So right now you see I've had a, I have three out of four. So if I click start, it will actually bring one of these auto units on the field automatically. So if I click it, see, you see this uh, Shelda? She is uh, auto deployed on the field. Uh, usually people don't like that. And um, in the future, depending on certain comps that you're running, uh, you're going to be in a situation where you actually don't prefer it either. Uh, so I recommend turning it off, actually, unless you're just, you know, unless you just like it. So yeah, for but for now, I'm going to turn it off. And then I'm going to put all of my armors on Leon because he's my tank. And then I'm going to put all of my uh, more attack speed bows on Armas. And if you get swords, put them on Armas too. Uh, actually, if you have staffs, um, it's actually not that bad either because staffs uh, will increase your magic damage, right? And Armas' skill, it does magic damage. So it's the blue number, the 221 right now you see. So any item is actually really good. All right, so we're just gonna go through this real quick. So a lot of beginner players make this mistake when they um, first start out is they try to expand to six because you have six people on your team, right? So they expand to six and then they just put the six units that they have out on the field. So for example, I expand. Okay, I put Alberon out, right? And then I'll do this, right? So let me get some more gold to show you an example. Okay. All right, so I'm actually just gonna sell this just for an example. You know what? I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna wait. Okay, okay, okay. So I have six units. So imagine uh, I had this with this, okay? So a lot of new players make this mistake when they first start out is that when they play, they actually expand to six because you have six units that um, are that are on your team, right? So what they do is they expand to six and then they will spawn their six units that they have and then they will put it on the field like this, right? So you have your Armas, Alberon, Evan, your Leon, your Daniel, your Shilda, right? And then they'll just keep on playing and then combining and try to get those as high tier as possible, right? Um, it's actually recommended for you to get 
multiple copies of your carry units or a single copy, like a really strong one, and then with multiple tanks. Uh, so, in, so for example, in this case, I will actually do this. Yeah, three Aramis with a tank. So actually would want more Aramis, right? Because he's my highest level, right? So actually, this is actually the preferred. Um, and a lot of beginner players don't really uh, realize this until later when they play is uh, they don't really focus on multiple of the same heroes uh, on the field at the same time. And Leon, we leveled Leon up, right? So yeah. I have a sword, I'm just gonna stick it here. Okay, and we have a blue book. Uh, blue book will turn a tier four into uh, a tier five automatically. So yeah. Great. Okay. So our RMS is pretty strong right here. Pew, pew, pew. Do some merging. Easy, easy. So we're pretty much going to be doing this comp for a while, <laughs> for a while. And um, we're going to be keep on uh, continuing to level up Armas and Leon. So yeah, so after that, we unlock chapter two and then, oh, congratulations, you have successfully defeated against the first invasion uh, challenge mode. So we can make it harder for better rewards. So we can just up that. Uh, we can receive rewards. Yep. Good luck. Alright, so we can do chapter 2. So the first time that we clear the chapter, um, we can actually do the corruption version, right? Oh, I can't. Oh. So how do I unlock the corruption version? Hmm. Anyway. Eventually. Eventually, perhaps. Alright, so we're going to be claiming. Let's go ahead and claim all this stuff. Oh, we get a lot of stuff. Oh, man. Uh, the past. Give me everything. Alright. Uh, we can buy that now, but we're not. Um, I'm actually gonna... You know what? I'm gonna buy the XP. Um, do I want the Evan? Do I? Do I really want the Evan, though? Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and buy the Leon. Um, I'm actually gonna roll these ads. All right, all right. So I will get some Armas XP, the book, some Leon. You know what? I'll buy the Evan. I'll buy the Evan. Maybe. 
Nah, nah, I'm not, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it, bro. I'm not doing it. Um, I don't have any, my, my gold, my gold, my gold though. Okay, so I got more gold. Uh, and you can see here, my castle level is level two now, right? So I can actually level up my altar. So it'll cost 20 gold, and then I can put another point. Um, I, I'm actually gonna put a split because it's in the beginning and the blood will actually help me out more than the hero, obviously. So the blood will give us uh, a little bit more uh, life still. So I need 400 gold to level Armis up. Yeah, I'm going to avoid Evan completely, actually. I'm going to avoid it. Okay, book of XP. Man, they give you a ton of stuff. A ton. Uh, 15. Okay. So, I am actually not sure when you unlock corruption mode. Interesting. So, I'm going to go ahead and just do chapter 2. And we're going to go for the same thing. We're going to go for the same thing. Leon and Armas. So, oh, great. We got both. Okay. I need Armas. <laughs> Please. But yeah, Leon is actually a really good tank early on. Uh, he's actually a pretty good tank uh, later too. So yeah, I'm actually going to take the, the book here. Because I'm lacking in... Uh, <laughs> I'm lacking in my carry tiers. I'll take that. Uh, I'm actually too lazy to watch the ads. Should be fine. I'm actually going to give the staff to Evan, just, I don't know, just because, uh, uh, I didn't level him up, did I? Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Uh... I need... Please! I need Armus! Please. Oh, that's amazing. Too lazy for the ad. Okay, uh, I'm actually just gonna expand. <laughs> Put another tank in. 
I have a beefy tank, so it's fine. Okay, so I can do this. Alright, pretty good. Okay, for Econ actually, for the units that you want to sell, if you don't know, um, you want to sell tier 4s. And the reason for this is because of the, um, the amount of gold that you get back for selling units. So if you sell a tier 1, um, you, s you see that it says it dismissed 2. Uh, so when you sell a tier 1, uh, you'll get 2 silver back which is uh, you'll lose one silver because it takes three silver to summon. And pretty much if you sell a uh, tier two or tier three or any other tiers, um, it will uh, be a pretty big loss. So the least loss is actually at tier four. Uh, so that's why you might be seeing me sell tier fours only. Uh, so that's why. So I'm waiting to get a tier four and then sell that tier four and then I keep on uh, summoning uh, because otherwise you'll actually be uh, hurting uh, an econ if you do it uh, not that way. Um, so early on when I wasn't getting uh, Armas, for example, I was just selling my units is because I'm trying to force it, uh, just relying on RNG. Uh, but yeah, just keep that in mind. So here I have a tier 4 Daniel, right? So 16 gold. Uh, I negate as much loss as possible. And yeah. So we have one more round after this, since a invasion have uh, invasion has twenty rounds. Okay, uh, I'll grab the sword. Uh, actually, this boss isn't too hard or anything. Obviously, I'm just gonna. I don't need to do this actually, but just for the heck of it, I'll do it. Just for the heck of it. Let's try to get a tier... Armus, Armus. Armus. Please. Yes. Do that. Yep. Easy. Okay, we got level up on our castle level and every time you level up your castle um you'll actually increase your uh food pool so up here you see that um i have 60 out of 25 food up here so the food will actually go all the way up to i believe 60 now it used to be 40 they changed it to 60 and then if you buy the king god pass which i won't be doing on this account um, it will increase that food limit to 80. So, yeah. Uh, I'm going to claim all of this stuff. Achievements. Receive all, please. Okay. Beginning. Receive all. Grab this. Man, the game actually gives you a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. So, we're going to upgrade our altar. Uh, I'm just going to put it in another hero. And then check this. Oh, I guess it actually gives you a free daily shop reset. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, we're focusing on Armus and we'll always buy the book uh, because the book uh, will give us um, wild experience, right? So I actually have two more rerolls. So I'm just going to go ahead and do these ads. All right. So I don't have gold. Awesome. Fantastic. 
I don't have gold. Amazing. Well. <laughs> don't do what I just did. Don't do what I just did. Oh, what kind of profile? Uh, hero hunter. Uh, Armas, I suppose. We'll keep it. We'll keep it that. Um, well. Chapter 3. Uh, I have scrolls. Let's see. Let's check our scrolls. Okay, okay. I'm gonna, I'll use the scrolls. I can get some... Wait, can I get gold from this? No, I can't. Well. Double value. Ah. Uh, we're gonna stick with the uh, Armis Leo, you know, comp until maybe I get like a Zalbai or something and start testing that out. Uh, but yeah, so slime invasion. Let's go ahead and do this. We're just gonna keep on going through the chapters and not do the challenges until we hit a we hit a wall essentially. Um, this should be kind of difficult. You need a lot of AOE damage, and Armus early on, you know, it's just single target damage, right? So might be a little tough, but we'll see. I'm actually gonna expand here. More bodies on the field, more people to tank. Okay. I would love my uh, Leo to come up, please, please, please. Okay, got a Leo. Fine. Uh, I will take the blue. You know what? I'll take the Pre I'll take the blue book. I will take the blue book. Okay. Getting a little... A little dicey. Uh-oh. 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 Please. Please. Please! Ooh, okay. We got it. We got this. Please. Uh, I'm actually gonna sell these. I need... Okay, this is this is okay. This is okay. Let me do this. Okay. Stabilizing. Maybe I should put points in the Evan. Evan's a beast uh, for later chapters, but. No. I don't have the econ for that. I don't have the gold. I don't have the resources for that. Um, I'm gonna do this. Is that a bad choice? Man, this Evan, though, he's pretty strong early, man. Uh... Man, where are the Aramis? 
please? Okay. Slowly but surely. Okay. Should be fine, maybe. Kind of worried about the boss, actually. Actually worried. Legit concern. Line art doing work. That's a lot of Daniels. That's a lot of Daniels. It's like I don't have Armas. The Leo wall. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna grab the book. I'm gonna force another. Hold on, let's try to get some armistice here. This is kind of armistice. Uh, what does this guy do? More slimes, huh? I think I think it will be fine. I think it'll be fine. I think maybe. Yeah, we're fine. Right? Totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm actually Armas. Okay, so um, if you're new, okay, uh, so I put all these items on my Armas, right? And these tier ones are actually like dead to me because they're filling up a spot, and I don't have another tier one bow to get it get it off. So I'm going to uh, combine it, right? But before I combine it, I'm actually going to put the items I actually do want uh, on this Armus. Um, and I'll show you how this works. So when you combine it, right? You can only have three items, right? So if you combine, you actually have to choose three new equipment for the new merge hero, right? So I can actually choose the ones that I want. And then these other two will actually just uh, unequip. Boom. So that's how you fix your item problem. Otherwise, you can't actually remove these items. You actually have to sell the unit to get it off. So yeah, that and then um, yeah. So now we are a okay, or at least like we should be. Should be okay. Oh my. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. That was kind of close. 
kind of close. Um, I'm actually going to do this. I'm actually going to red book this. Um, yeah. And then I'm going to put the rest of our items on this one. And then we're going to try to build this one up. We're not, we're not going to get this one up anytime soon because um, just because of how early we are in our progression and we don't have uh, Hero Altar and stuff like that. So, yeah. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Are we good? We good? Uh-oh. 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 Okay, Blood Altar. Blood Altar. Blood Altar. Blood Altar. Blood Altar. Oh. It is okay. It is okay. It is a-okay. I'm actually going to do this. I'm actually going to do that. Fine, right? Oh, my. These guys hurt. Okay. All right. Maybe three tanks. Three tanks might be the the, the, the play to make it a bit more stable. It's lost lives. All right, boss. Uh, I'm actually gonna get the bow. Uh, I'm actually gonna expand. Yeah, I'm gonna put this guy in. Um, let's try to luck out on some Leons, I guess. Nope. Okay. And attack speed is great for Armus. So, yeah. You want, you definitely want attack speed. Okay, should be fine. There we go. All right, so chapter three. So castle of four. Unlock chapter four. Now chapter four is going to be kind of hard. I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna it's gonna start it's gonna start being a little difficult, very fast. Uh, we don't want that. We'll buy that. We'll buy this. Uh. Now what I'm concerned with is when we get a good hero from the daily shop and I want it. That's when the struggle happens. Uh, I don't even have enough gold for upgrading my hero altar. So it just means we got a farm. We got a farm. Now we got a farm. I mean, I'll take that. I don't think I can beat this one. Actually. Um, we're actually gonna go. Let's go back to chapter one and do this challenge phase thing. Okay. Yeah, I like that. I like that more. I actually need to have <laughs> been spinning too much in the daily shop. Way too much. So we, we have to farm it out a bit. Sometimes you gotta farm it out, you know? You gotta farm it out. Get stronger. Um, as you go along in the game, you'll find out that uh, gold is actually really difficult to get. Uh, it's just simply because you have to farm it. You actually have to farm it. Uh, there's no really uh, easy way to get it. So, and you use gold for so many things early on, like relics uh, that you need to craft and upgrading your heroes and all that stuff. So, yeah, gold, very important. Man, I might level this Evan eventually. 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 I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. But right now, my concern 
is to get Armis as high as I can. You gotta put your eggs all in one basket. I can't I can't be spreading my resources here. Otherwise it's gonna take too long. Maybe this Okay. These are be pretty easy for us. So we're gonna buy all that. I'm actually going to sell that. I'm going to try my luck a little bit. Okay. Armus that uh, sell the tier four. Um, I'm actually going to keep this. I should have put the armor on him, but you know, should be fine. I'm actually gonna combine these, so I'm gonna give them this. Give them this armor. Oh, these guys are strong. Oh no. Oh no. Oh! Okay. 
That was close. Very close. Very close. We're gonna try to get a tier, f another tier four armus. Try some luck here. Not lucky. Okay, so since we did challenge three, uh, we get more rewards, right? So that's good. All right, some more beginner quest stuff. Okay, we have a ton of food, <laughs> a ton of food. So collect 50 silver, uh, hero altar. Oh, we can do this now. Great. Do that. Um, all right, and then since we're doing the phases, the higher we go, we can get these challenges. So we have more food, more gems. Okay. I'm curious, how, actually, how much gold does it take to level up my 400, huh? 400. That's a lot of gold. It's a lot of gold. Um, you know what? Just let's go chapter one, and let's try to get six. So usually six is kind of the highest you want to go when you first start out, uh, because after six, um, you actually get into this enemy tier, uh challenge right here which is the hardest uh it will actually make the enemies start off as a higher base tier so uh when you're starting out this is actually incredibly difficult to do so uh usually you only go to um challenge phase six and that's pretty much where you want to stop because uh otherwise it's not uh, efficient to do if that makes sense But of course, challenge 10 is like the best uh, farming phase because it gives you the most rewards. Okay. Um, sure. I'm actually gonna sell it. Do this. Sure.
Alright, so we'll do that. Put another one of these in. I'm gonna swap this. Hey, split attack. OP. Easy peasy. Okay, so 160 gold, castle level 5, uh, unlocked expedition mode, so we can start using uh, another means to get some resources, collect that, grab this, let's check the shop real quick, um, should I buy this, you know, fine, fine. Fine, I have to. I have to. Okay. I don't... Oh, I have enough. Okay, so now um, I'm going to get rid of this blood altar and actually do this. So now um, now that we can get five points in altar heroes, uh, we can have that 5% level up uh, by merging. So when we merge, we actually get a 5% chance to double up to the next tier for free. And that's some incredible... Um, incredible value right so yeah 
Uh, we'll be doing that. Uh, another quest thing to obtain. Man, they give you a ton of food. A ton. Okay. So, expedition mode is down here. Um, and it is currently Sunday. So, Sunday, uh, all three of these modes actually are open. And you pretty much can do it. And uh, this, the top one will give you gold. Middle one will give you book of XP, which is just wild XP to any hero that you want. The bottom one is actually pass, uh, the pass points, which is um, your pass for the season up here. Usually um, the last one, the pass one, is actually the least sought after. So the hero invasion expedition mode is actually the least played. Um, the book of XP would be the second most played uh because it actually gives you a ton of book of xp and then the, the goblin <laughs> hunt down is actually the most played because it get, actually gives you uh the the gold right so um actually i'm gonna go ahead and do that i'm actually gonna go and do that so i'm gonna do that uh i actually don't have a good hero for this so we're just gonna try to make it work um let's see let's see let's see so for oh team two uh so for goblin, you know what? Just buy blacksmith. You know we're just gonna go Aramis. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna level up Evan, man. I'm not doing it. Uh, so let's go ahead and do it. Uh, phase one, and we can actually uh, do these phases. But uh, we we go up as we finish each phase, right? So you it costs one flag. Um, you definitely don't want to do the multiplier unless you are just in a hurry and you just want to burn them right so we're gonna go one flag at a time and get the most value out of our flags okay uh we're gonna go for attack speed so we're gonna go for an armis with a bunch of attack speed that's what we're going for Okay, we're gonna do this. That's not bad. I wish they gave me a book. Please. Nope, no books. Where's my books? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Well. Well. Let's see. Oh, actually not bad. Okay. Yeah. 50. Oh, it's easy because it's phase one, of course. And here I'm getting hyped. Okay. So we did expedition and we're just going to keep on doing this. Um, we actually can do phase two now, which will give us more, right? So we're going to do phase two. All right, so let's try this again. Book, bow, bow, book, okay. Another book, bow, book, tier three bow. All right, so at this point, I'm actually gonna start summoning. Please. Armus. Come on. Please. 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 What? Okay. I didn't want it either, anyways. Did not want it, anyways. Not bad. Hundred and eight. Hundred and eight gold. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. How how far can we can I can Armis clear <laughs> my Armis is only level four. Uh, I'm gonna grab the sword book. So we're looking for books and bows. Books and bows. Books and bows. Book. 
grab it. I'm gonna grab the scroll because of the huge value. Okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna start the summon. Uh Okay. Book. No. Oh, why did I do that? Uh You know what? I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna even risk it. I'm just gonna do this. There you go. I have a, I have a plus one attack count? I do. Okay. Okay. This is not bad. This is actually better than I thought. Grab this. Let's keep on. Let's keep on. Let's keep on doing this. We're farming gold. We are farming gold. Grab that sword, I guess. Book sword. Uh, this sucks. Bow. Book. Book. Uh, I'm gonna go one more. I'm gonna go bow. Okay, we're gonna start summoning. Okay. Okay, that'll give us that. We'll just do this. Okay, I might struggle with this one. I might struggle with this one. I, I don't have enough attack speed. Maybe? Oh, chain attack. Oh. Okay. I lied. I lied. I could actually clear it. Oh my. The power of Armus. Can I level him up? I can. Oh my. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Let's keep on let's keep on farming this. This is really good gold. Uh, I'm gonna grab the book. Sword, scroll, book. Red book. Book. Bow. Sword. Alright, so we're gonna start summoning... Uh Okay. Red book. Okay. Here's about the big one. This is the one I'm worried about. Oh! Point thirteen seconds. Two hundred and fifty gold. That's kind of crazy. Okay, I got that thing. Um, okay. Let's keep on going. Scroll. Scroll. Bow, scroll, uh, okay, let's, let's do some of these summons, and sell, one, two, three, four, sell, uh, sword, Oof. Oof. Yeah, this one's bad. This is a bad one. This is a very bad one. Oof. Nah. There's no way. Is this my limit? Yeah. 
Uh, let's try that again. Let's try it again. That was that was a little bad RNG. The RNG was kind of bad on that one. It was a little bad. It was a little bad. Let's try let's try that phase again. Phase six. Let's try it again. So bow, book, book, bow, bow, book. Sure. Book. Okay. So we're guaranteed tier 5 at least. At least. Red book? Yes. Okay. This one I... This is my best chance. I should have moved my... My arm is up one more. Oh no, oh no. No, I should have moved it up one more. It was very close. It was very close. Alright, I guess phase 5 is the limit. Phase 5 is the limit. I can clear phase 5, I think. Every time. We'll see. Book, bow, sword, book. Sword, red book. One more. I guess I'll do that. Okay. Now the four big goblins are the ones uh, I'm worried about. Yeah, so 245 gold, pretty solid. So uh, I'm actually gonna go ahead and do this, uh, you know, 10 more times. Oh no, there's too many. There's too many. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and use all these flags, <laughs> and I'll see you on the other side. Alright, I used all of my flags. Alright, we are rich, boy. 3,057 gold. All right, so let's uh, spin this cash. All right, so I I have 101 books that I can put towards Aramis. I could do that. Um, but before I do that, uh, I'm going to go ahead and use my last daily roll. So, yeah, let me watch this ad. Okay, so I'm going to buy the Aramis, the Book of XP, the Leo. All right, because I got the cash now, you know, it doesn't matter. All right, so um, I'm going to go ahead and use the Book of XP. So Book of XP, uh, to use the Book of XP, all you do is you click this Hero Info XP bar here, and then you click what you want to use. Uh, you can actually use the King Tokens too, but I don't recommend that. Uh, that will be used uh, for hero tokens later they, they kind of act like a wild token for a lot of things uh but these are probably uh the most rare thing in the game so definitely use them sparingly uh so yeah so we're gonna be using the book of xp confirm level up a thousand gold no problem 
because I'm rich. Uh, let's go ahead and do, yes, have exactly enough. I don't have enough money to level 2,000. Almost got that. I almost got that. Um, I'm, I'm actually going to hold off. I'm holding off. I'm going to level Armist to level 7. Yeah, I'm going to hold off. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Claim all this stuff. Check on my scrolls. Uh, nope, can't do it in batches of four. Uh, go ahead and claim all these gems. Okay, um, you know what? Oh, I gotta change my altars. Let's change my altar. So I'm gonna do this. All right, so let's try to do undead invasion. I'm pretty sure I can't, but you never know. You never know. So let's try. Okay, perfect. Oh, they hurt. They hurt. My Leon actually might not survive. I mainly one tap these though with my Artemis, so that's good. Uh, but they are in numbers, so might be tough. Okay. I definitely need two uh, Leos for sure. Because this guy's a summoner. Uh, I'm actually not running Blood Altar, so... Might get a little... Dicey. Um, I'm gonna try to get... Leo... Or Armus. Nope. I might die here. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, no, we're good. We're good. Okay. Okay. I'm going to get this. Okay. Okay, that might be a bad move. That might have been a bad move. Okay. All right. Okay. It's fine. We have three flags. Um, I'm just gonna, gonna do this. Um, if you didn't know, uh, there's actually this thing the game doesn't tell you. So whenever you lose a round, um, you know, you consume a flag down here, right? So whenever you lose a round, the following round that you retry it, um, all the units actually get weaker. So even on boss rounds. So yeah. Uh, so if you're at a boss round and you fail on it and then do it again right after, um, and you pass and you're like, wait a second, why is it so much easier the second round? So yeah, so that's why. All right. Uh, let's try to get Armus. Please, please, yes. Okay. Armus and Leos. Okay. My luck. Double up. Okay, we're getting somewhere. 
Should be pretty good now. Should be. Should be. I say that. Too lazy to watch that. <laughs> okay. Just gonna expand and just put more bodies on the field. Have execute. Yep. Pretty good. Okay, another Armus. Yeah, book that. Second Armus would definitely help. Like this. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. You know what? I'm gonna do this. Book that. Yeah, I'm just. Yeah. Maybe I need three tanks. Nah. Two tanks. Yeah, we're good. We good. Buy that. Okay. Oh, he summons these guys. Never noticed. So, do you remember how I told you that selling tier 4s uh, will get you a better econ? Well, we are running um, Alter Hero, right? Well, combined with Alter Hero, you can get some crazy econ happening because you get double ups also. So, yeah. Oh, okay, we're good. Okay, boss round. Um, I'm actually gonna grab, oh, that's insane actually, okay. I'm going for high tier Armus. I mean, Leo's fine too, I suppose. Let's try to get another Leo. Okay. Should be good. Maybe. Hopefully. Ah, oh, yeah, we got it. It took us, you know, two flags, you know, but it's fine, right? It's a win. It's a win. Okay. 
All right, combine that, get that. Uh, we can do this, but we're not buying it. Let's check the shop. Uh, oh, it actually didn't auto roll my shop. Hmm, interesting. Uh, okay, so now uh, we can combine that. All right, so yeah, so chapter five, actually. Uh, so our goal, remember, is getting to chapter seven so we can start uh, farming for our rapid relic um, that will help facilitate our Armus gang that we're trying to put together. And then eventually when we unlock arena at level castle level 10, uh, we can start doing arena um, and get this penetrating spear that will help us out. So, all right, I'm going to end my part one of my beginner walkthrough series right here. Uh, thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it, and if you want more, see you in the next one. Later.